98% of the world's mountain caribou live in our province. Latest surveys indicate 50% of these animals live in the Prince George region. Now it seems some of them are being put at risk by thrill-seeking snowmobilers. Caribou are elusive animals. Most of them live in subalpine forests. Data taken in 2010 estimates there are around 800 animals roaming the mountain ranges east of Prince George. These areas are also a popular destination for snowmobilers. The caribou are going just above tree line in that open subalpine forest. The trees are fairly widely spaced. That makes it really good for growing the arboreal lichens that the caribou eat. It's also the terrain gets a little bit more gentle. It's not quite as steep. But that's also just a, a magnificent spot to go snowmobiling. Caribou live in these regions far away from predators and people. However, over the years, snow machines are becoming more powerful and some riders seek the thrill of going up into the out-of-bound alpine. The snowmobiles that were available kind of limited where they were going. But you know, my understanding is that you know, the technology keeps improving and, and they can really go long distances very quickly and get pretty much everywhere. Caribou rely on the deep snow to keep a buffer between themselves and predators. Potential problems of, of having snowmobile trails going up into the subalpine is it makes a nice packed trail that predators can use to get up into areas where naturally they just would have a very difficult time going. The conservation office warns it's the rider's responsibility to ensure they know where the closures are. We've seen uh, significant non-compliance within some of these areas. Uh, the attraction is the deep powder alpine bowls where these uh, closures are set out, which uh, that's where the Mount Caribou Refuge is and the, the closures are. The local conservation office is starting to find thrill-seeking snowmobilers from other provinces, starting to reach these protected caribou areas. For the snowmobilers who are non-compliant, fines can be issued. If you're found in a no, no snowmobile closure, you could be subject to an investigation and heavy fines laid. Flights and enforcement activities will continue through the season to protect the already fragile mountain caribou herds. Dave Branco, CKPG News.